Here's this wardrobe. This is one of the boxes. It has four boxes in total. It will look like that. Two for clothes, one with shelves and two uh, extractable. This box is 23 kilograms and it's the fourth box out of four. Around three fingers thickness. Here are the other three boxes. One out of four, 22 kilograms, 26 kilograms and 27 kilograms. So I will cut it. So that's inside the fourth box. Metal bar, foam. One, two, three pieces. By the way, it says do not open with a knife. <laughs> That's the first box out of four. I opened it with a knife, as it's mentioned here not to do. And here the manual is inside the first package. Paper. We have the slides. Wood, screws, small screws. These corners, the handles, by the way, they are numbered. Box number two. Three large pieces. That's the third box, it's the heaviest, 27 kilograms. Okay, so open these packages and find those components inside. Okay, so the first step first is to get the element number three, which is this one in the middle. More exactly, it's here in the middle. So get the number three, put B2 on it. B2 is this one, those metal things. Use the eye, eye is this one, eye is visible here. So insert the eye there, put the B2 there. E1 is the screw, so that is the number three. As it's mentioned here and it's mentioned there. And which side to use? Well, here it has a small hole. That hole is visible here. Plus it has two, two, two holes on the right side. So we have two here, two there and two at the other end. So this is the correct side. Now insert those eyes into the corner. We have two holes there. I suppose it has to enter here. You have to insert it into the exterior, not into the smaller interior hole. And put it there. And use a hammer. There. So insert the other two also. Here is mentioned to use the element called B. B is here in this package. That one is shown there and you have to open it like so. The lower part is B1 is this one and that is B2. And you have to remove it. So undo that screw which is this one. Loosen it. That's a star of Philips head screwdriver. Okay, loosen it even more. Now we have the B1 which is mentioned here and we have the B2 which is here. These, the B2 have to be mounted with the screws here into these two holes. By the way, as you can see, this is not straight. So it's not like this, but it's at an angle. And it's not opening either. Bad stuff is sold here. It can be opened. So either tighten it manually or use an electric screwdriver. So with this cut you have to place it to the outside as it's shown here. One is done. So repeat the other two also. Remove that screw a little bit, a little bit more. Even more, and it 
it's not coming out okay it's out with the cut outside this metal is pretty soft the screw is deforming it a little bit too strong that's pretty weak let's use that one okay okay and also on the element 3 as shown there we have to attach this C1 C1 is this one so here it says to use C1 C1 it's visibly that one which is this metal and I should also insert a screw C into it, but where? In that hole? There is no hole under that one, because the large one enters there. And there is no small hole there, so I should make one. And is this C? Nothing is written on it. So let's just insert that metal thing there. Like so, it's not moving. Okay, and after this we should flip it over like so and work on the other side by the way it will stay on these screws plus that metal so don't push it down too much because there's a gap now get the element called t which is this one metal objects t and on this side we have one two three holes one two three one two three three there three there and insert the t element into the middle of each and every part. I think it doesn't matter which side goes in. It looks identical. Insert it there. You can push it in with your hand also as I see. Go to the next one. In the center. And insert all eight. So step two is finalized. Third and get the element called seven. Now that's the number 7, it has two holes there, the two holes are visible here. So insert four eyes here at the corners and two K's there in the middle. So that's the I and that's the K. And insert it into the exterior. And the same at the bottom also. This distance is smaller compared to this distance it is larger this one so we should insert those key elements here where the distance is larger and they are also into the inner holes so these have to be inserted here which is this part is larger is longer and of course the hole size is helping us also so these are large holes it cannot enter there but it can enter here so insert it into those small holes hold it perpendicularly now let's get to the fourth one here we need the three that we just worked on we need the seven which is this one and put some larger screws there at the bottom so that's the three and that's the seven okay and insert those wooden elements into those holes a rubber hammer can help also okay now it stays by itself so take a look at the parts so the metal elements are on the right side down the metal elements are there on the right side down and now insert into the inner holes those two A elements. That's the A, it's mentioned there, and that's the tool for it, the D. So we are done here. Here's the wooden element in the exterior. And we have to use these metal hexagonal interior large screws in the inner part. So insert it there into the inner hole, that one. And use this one and tighten it. Now here at the fifth step we have to use the OB which is the slider, that's the OB and we have to open it up and separate the two components. Open it up 
push it fully out and there's the black plastic and you have to lift it up and then you can extract it, separate it. So get the element number two, this is this one is two. I rotate it up so that it will have two holes. So turn it upside down, here are the two holes. And the slider has to have this middle element on it, so it's this one, it's not that one, this does not have it. We have to insert two screws into that horizontal opening. So into this one and into that one. And we have two holes here and one there. So place it above the hole. Use these screws and tighten them. Insert the screw there. This larger part is on the left side and that smaller part is on the right side. So it's this way. So the larger plastic part is on the left side and the smaller plastic is on the right side. So now insert the screw there. You have to hold it straight and you have to push it down also. It's not a complete hole, it's just a small one millimeter deep hole. By the way, the screw is not too long, so it will not go through the wood. The tip will not exit. Now let's try one with the electric tool. Now we have to rotate the element number two upside down. Notice this part has those two holes. The other part does not have those two holes. And we have to use another slider. We have to separate that one also and also place this one which has this center element place it on the other side because this number two is the central part we have a drawer here on the left side and we have a drawer on the right side and the central element has to have a slider on the left side and a slider on the right side also so turn it upside down we have two holes there open it up Push that plastic up and you can remove it. Also the larger black plastic has to be on the exterior. And add those two screws there. So that's the element number two. It has the slider. If it's turned upside down then the slider is here on the right side. Here at the sixth step we have to use the number two. Use these metal elements which are called J. We have to use two of them. We have to insert the wood into that metal. So the wood into those two metals. We have to insert the J into the larger holes onto the left side. And then we have to tighten these here on the left side. Also position this wood, the number two with the sliders to the lower part and to the front part. Okay, so here at the bottom introduce the number two, which is this one, into these metal elements. We have holes here. Now get these J elements and with this cross towards you insert it so that it will grab those metal elements. Let me show you how it works. So this one will grab like a claw when you tighten it. So once again put it there. And tighten it. And it stays with the cross towards you. And that's it. So that was step 6, now here at step 7 we have element number 5 and we have to insert 4 of those wooden elements into the outer holes, 2 there and 2 there. So we have a hole here next to this one, not there, but to the exterior. So here step 8, get the element 4 position it with the holes up 
and with that uncovered side to the left so with the holes towards you and with the uncovered side on the left side so insert the key into the inner smaller hole now that's the lower side one goes here into the corner one goes up there into these small holes this is mentioned here one two three and four case now the machine is loosened it will not over tighten the screws now get that slider open it up push that plastic up and separate it use this one which has this central element and with the larger plastic on the right side because that's smaller tighten it there now also on the four element we have to add two legs there that's the BF BF is this one so use these elements make sure the left side this one is uncovered I will add this one let's see there to the corner push it in with your hand and then hammer it in now let's add these T's so letter T into the center of those three now get these BA2 elements and add three of them there into those two holes so where we have two holes there we will have this portion with the cut outside not the other direction it's not too tight so as you can see the screw is not exactly in the center so I will loosen it both of them and I will reposition as needed up or down so we need to get this large four element this one and position it here onto the left side so that large one will be placed here to the left side and get the element number five which is here it has large holes the holes have to be towards you and that one is held with these large a screws from the top plus it has the wood also and then we have the four which is here it's not yet fixed in any way and that one is held by this rotating J elements and those K metal shafts on the top we have the wood and on the bottom we have the metal screw So it looks like this that one is not fixed yet but that one is fixed to this one I get four of these J elements and using those keys which have to be inserted there tighten them I repeat with that part also so make that metal enter into the hole and the wood into that hole both of them up and down now get this long number 8 element introduce a BF that is a leg here at the center where you have to enter that eye element in the middle and put two eyes one here and one there also make sure the hole is towards you okay so here's this one it has two holes there and it says I have to insert it into the lower one I hope it's on the lower one on this side also one in the center okay and put a leg there under that one ok 
okay and do the same thing for the next one also by the way the holes these at the end have to be at the interior here we might see that the small eye is on the lower side not on the top side and on the top side we have to enter that metal which is the K and into the lower part I have to insert one of these and in the other lower part another one to the top a third one plus a leg in line with that one now let's go to step 12 put two of those L elements which are these onto the metal parts oh, exactly that's the top and simply push it in there by the way this is a hexagonal shape I use two of these J elements and fix this eight part to the ends plus with the wood part there in the middle so that's the lower part and introduce it there plus introduce that one there fix it with the metal so only this part is held the center is not held yet I do the same with this one also So that was step 12 and it looks like this. So we need the element number 1, we have to insert two case there, two case there and two case there. We have to place the slider and we have to place two legs. So put the key there. So open it up push the plastic and separate it and with the larger black plastic on the left side that's the smaller one here onto the left move that there and there's the hole position it to the longer opening now put two legs somewhere here and somewhere there I have only one leg I'm not sure if I received only five instead of six or I lost one of them so I will use out of this FA I will use one of these larger parts and use that one as a leg so that's the plastic the leg that I will use and that's the nail holder so you just insert the nail there in the center it has a small opening that will keep it perpendicular to the surface Now here is step 14, also on the element 1, add 3 of these BA2s, which are these. And with the cut towards the outside. Add the rest of them also. Now put this C1 there also, which is here. If I have enough screws at the end I will also put a screw there. But till now I'm just pushing it in. Now get this large one part, one is that also, which is this one and mount it there using these metal things and those around J elements which are mentioned here screw it with the J to this one that one and to the top one in one two three four five six locations and make sure this uncovered part is on the top side because this is the back of the furniture so lift it up that way I inserted this large part here and we have to insert the metal elements into the hole and the wood elements into those holes metal and wood in the hole metal and wood metal and wood we have to do this for six parts this will be fun now when it's halfway inserted insert at least one here on the top 
at least one of these elements so it will it will not fall out while you're adjusting the other ones now push the rest of them in now it's closer i hammered it from that part add another one to hold it and then we have to adjust the other end it's not straight it's at an angle We are here at step 16 and we have to install those thin wooden elements there, they are the 16 and we have to install the 17. Okay, so we have nails all around and we have nails plus metal at that area. So that's the metal plate and the nail goes through it. And in this area we have the plastic into which you have to insert the two woods. Okay, and use that U element to hold the nails straight. Hit the nails straight, not at an angle so that it might come out. There should be 7 centimeters between the last plate and the bottom of the furniture. So that's the smaller, the 17 I think. And make sure you're placing the white side inside down and into this small gap. This thin wood should cover only halfway that larger one. This has a cut in it. But it's also covering only halfway these. So notice it's covering it only halfway and it's covering halfway this one also because the other one has to come on top so this thickness is shared for this one and for these also so halfway is outside halfway is outside and at the top also Let's say one third is outside, so it's not going to be to the top. I'm inside. Okay, so I replace that chair there, and I have to have enough height in order to place these flexible wooden elements there, so they won't fall inside until I insert the plastic in the middle, because nothing is holding in the center. So one was positioned there, the chair is holding it, then I will position this one on the top also. Okay, so that's the back of the furniture. And this is pushed all the way to the side. We have a small gap where to insert this plastic between. We have another small gap that is necessary for these metal things plus the nail. The nail will occupy that space. And this one is also pushed to the right, to the exterior. Not that easy. Okay, and here we will put the nails and those metal elements. Push this white plastic off of this one. Now it's off. So here at the bottom, verify this distance, so make sure this is not way too down, because this one also needs a little bit of space where to grab. Now it is somewhere in the middle. And now hit the nails all around, and the metal and the nails here. Okay, so that's the top left corner viewed from behind. Place a nail inside there and hit it. I remove it and repeat a hundred times. Okay, now I insert the screws all the way here to the right side and the bottom, all the way to the left side and the bottom. Just one screw here in the middle and thus I can 
adjust this distance here and here is smaller here is larger the gap and thus I can slightly move the center element towards the left okay and meanwhile let's add these also so there's a gap and hit that one with the nail that's the first one now here on the other side on the lower one I need to make a little bit of gap here so only this one is moving and it's moving towards that one so I need to push a nail into that gap Okay, add around 10 of those metal plates here also and some of them here at the bottom. Now I inserted all those metal things and nails and everything. Now I should lift it up. Okay, so that's the furniture. It's pretty big. The chair was inside, it was holding the middle. Here, this part is already moving. So I need to put there something else under that leg. So here's this element, it's called FA in the package and I could insert it quite well. So I might need to break off two of them. Now let's go to 17. So here we have the 12 and the 13, those are the two sides of the drawer. And we have to insert two plus two wooden elements. That's the back, the 14. So this small one is the 12. We have to insert two wooden elements with the hole towards us. Insert these two there. Now this is the 13 with the hole towards you. You have to do this twice, so that's for one shelf and you have to do it once again. So 12 is here with the large hole towards me. Okay, so these are the size of the shelves. I get the large one, which is 14. Repeat with the other 14 into the larger one. Turn it around. Those were the backs, two sides and the two backs, we have two of them. Don't insert it into the center hole, but to the one that is next to it. Okay, now let's get to the 18, 10, that's the front of the drawer. And insert two of these case into these smaller holes. I do the same thing for the next front part as the 11. Position it with the cut up and insert the key elements. Here at step 19, get these 13 and 12 plus the 14. So that's the 13, that's the 12. The cut is on the bottom like so and we have to insert the large one which is 14 between them so this will enter there and the other one there now use the a the long screw and tighten it so get one of these large screws insert it into the top I think here also. Now for step 20, let's get the front, the 10 and the 11 and use those metal, these metal J fasteners, J and introduce one on the side of both of them. So the cut has to be on the bottom, the cut is here on the bottom for this one also. Insert it into those two. Push it down. Get one of these J. Insert and tighten. And that's it. Now do it once again.
I use one of these L things to cover those metals. Step 21, insert the bottom, the element 15 and put the nails into it. So with the white side towards the interior, insert it there and into the other corner. It should be parallel and it should slide down. This one is parallel with this one here at the edge. the same thing for the next one also so here we have the drawers let's add the handle handle looks like this it's plastic get the longer F screws use two of them simply insert the screw and gently tighten it because it's plastic it might break okay so that's a handle Now I will set it to the lowest power. It's too low. Okay, so we have two handles. And here on the 23rd step, now we should add the sliders to both sides and for both drawers. We have to hold it this way with the black plastic towards the end towards the left end, so as is mentioned here, toward the end, there. So that's the end, and that's the front, and get the slider and position it with the plastic towards the end and into those vertical holes there, add the screw to the vertical one. Okay, so that was added, it's not moving, now turn it upside down. Same thing, plastic towards the end and add two screws. So step 24, stickers. Put that bar there in the middle. I already placed a little bit of lifting to that corner. And then we should put those and insert those. Okay, so here's the bar. Simply push it down. And there is still some place. It's moving to the left and to the right. So I should try to add a screw there into the lower part. So although it had no hole, I inserted a screw there. And nothing is broken behind, so I should insert there also. Yes, it's okay. Let's insert a drawer. Simply align this one with that one and put it in the middle. I have to do it for both sides. Okay, and just push it in. It will click. Okay, that's the first try. And now it's working. It has a rubber at the end. That's why it's not closing all the way. But you can push it and it will close. So it's not opening all the way. We have a palm distance here. Oops, it's overlapping. Okay, so to remove it, move that plastic. I can barely access it. On one side you have to lift it up and on the other side you have to push it down. Remove this one also. This side up and the other down. Get the shelves, there are six. Put them at an angle, put the right side and then the left side onto those metals. 
don't push them out because they will fall down leave them in so it looks like this make sure the covered part is towards you and if you want you can remove those metal elements and put them down or up if you want to adjust the height of those shelves so here's the step 26 we have to get this large door which is called 9 the large door is for the central part not the left one and not the right one and we have to insert these hinges there are two types of hinges there are these which are straight and there are these which are curved so we have to use these not these get the curved one introduce it into the door you can open them and close them so open them and put them there with the hanging part outside okay and add two screws there This is problematic. Oops. So as you can see that one is standing vertically. This is not vertical at all, it's deformed, I cannot open it either. Okay, so I had to replace these, that's the original and that's the new one. This one is noisy, this one is closing softly and slowly. Okay, and besides that, it's not the same. So if you take a look, the hole is lower on this one, it's not at the same height as that one. So I will need to make new holes on the doors. This one also is curved, just like that one. I have these, which are not curved. For this I have to push this part and I can remove that one. And that's the not curved version. That's some titanium and this is Hafele. The one that came with the wardrobe is made of thinner metal, it's visible here also. This one, the default one is thinner, the new one is thicker, this side for example, compared to that one. This can bend more easily compared to the new one. So here in the center, where you mount this one, then you have to insert this opening under this screw and this element which has a cut in it you have to insert that one into this opening so put it on push it all the way there and just slide it forward okay let's open up the screw and that's it so this end and the other end has to enter also and when you tighten that screw then it cannot exit okay if you loosen it then it can exit so this end is blocking it from going to the left side the door is closed the door is opened so that screw is holding the entire door of course you have three of them i will remove this one and i should insert a new one the hole is not in the right position so it has to be just around two millimeters to the exterior move it there and now it's at 90 degrees just around two three millimeters deep make the hole to the right side now it has more distance and insert those screws both at the same time so don't tighten one because then it will pull it that way or don't tighten only that one because it will pull it that way now let's see how can I insert the screws because both of them are on that side so first I need to put it at an angle Yeah. 
it's also pulling it it has force but it's also breaking it now I also need to replace these ones with these newer ones this screw is too big for that hole so this will not enter here so this part comes onto the door it looks like this it has a piston there okay and this one is on the furniture itself you can attach one onto the other into that hook this part okay and then you have to press this one this button opens it so now you can open the door and close the door it's closing slowly it's breaking it so the door won't slam okay and if you want to remove the door then you have to press that button and this part will be released and that's it so I just pressed this one it has a piston there I'm not sure oil or gas or what's in it that one is breaking it and it has a spring somewhere here in the corner that one is closing it the spring is somewhat visible here and there so the spring is closing it and the piston is breaking it okay now we have three screws this one that and that that one is let's say this is the side of the furniture it's pulling it out or in this way the movement is very small so now i think it's pushed away that way and if i rotate it to the left then it's getting closer yes so it was opened and now to the left it got closer so to the right gets it further away and to the left gets it closer the next one is for moving the entire metal in or out to the left or to the right in this way so that's visible here at this button now the button is almost in line with the exterior and after I rotate it let's say to the left now there's a gap here so if I turn it to the left then it will come out to the right and if I rotate it to the right now it's inside so it went to the left so to the right pulls it in inside the cabinet okay now this part that screw basically is moving this element because we have two metals there and it is sliding it up and down so by using that screw you will be adjusting the door up and down it was rotated to the right and the door went down and if i rotate it to the left the door will go up that's visible on this side also so this part is to the left it's hard to rotate it now it's to the right so we have gap here let's try it once again so no gap here the gap is here so those are the three adjustments on this half -ele. Okay, so that's the original hole, the large one, and I made a smaller one for the smaller holes of the new hinge. Of course, I had to push this part all the way to the right, because otherwise I would have drilled into this one. The smaller screw would not have any wood into which to enter. Two of them entered, the third not yet. So it's not easy to insert all three of them at once okay now it entered so this door seems to be fine plus it's modified so it's closing by itself slowly I, I might need to adjust this distance in this case 
that movement outside or inside is adjusted by this one so to the left is pushing it out and to the right is pulling it in and we still have a gap so in the end I decided to use the original large holes and thus I had to enlarge these openings also so that I can use the original large screws So first I drilled this with a 5mm diameter drill bit and then with a 6mm drill bit. And at this model the up down adjustment is done from this screw. Ok now I attached it and we have some space here on the top side and it's way too close here in the middle and maybe down also. So that adjustment has to be done with this screw to the left. To the left it pushes it out and to the right it's not moving. <laughs> and the gap is still larger up. And now the door is closing by itself silently. I have to remove that and that side also. So first use the 5mm. The 5mm is much easier, the 6 is harder. 6 won't pass this quickly through the metal. Now do it once again using the larger drill bit. That's a 6mm drill bit. It will also heat up much more. Now on the next door I need to make small holes. The one on the right was made right now using the drill bit and the left is the original. So if I insert this the hole is there. So this is a number 9. Now let's mount these two. All of those three doors are number 9. The center one is also number 9. Now the top one entered. Now let's try to insert this also. This should be lowered a little bit. And click. It's not closing all the way, it's very close, I need to push it outside. In case of this hinge I have to use the left screw and to the left. Now it's closing perfectly. Make sure you have a tiny amount of space between these two parts to avoid friction. Let's say a paper should enter there, half a millimeter something something just avoid friction so finally here's the third door and it's not closing of course the hinges are not identical so this might not apply to you to everybody but i should push this door towards the left and this one towards the right using i think that screw yes to the left it's pushing it back Yes, it's closing it, but it's not closing all the way. Now the same thing, I heard friction, so I need to push it outside. I see friction here. Wow, it sounds so ugly. To the left it's pushing it out. Okay. Now it's closing. That one is closing also. And now this one has a gap. It's moving. So you can make the doors close more by adjusting it with this screw. This screw also pulls the door to the right, the left door to the right, but it's also making it close more. So if you pull it to the left, 
it will open a little bit if you pull it to the right it will close more do the same thing with this one so you have to pull it in and thus this part will go inside if you pull it towards the out that this part comes outside now mount the handles just put those two screws there this gap is much smaller than this one so i should push this door towards the left by turning that screw the middle screw to the right it's also pushing the door to the left and it's also closing it more you can see that this one is lower and this one is a bit higher okay so pull it out loosen that screw okay and lift it up and tighten it in that position it's better we can adjust the other one also if you want so in this case we have to loosen it and push it down now it's somewhat better And after the adjustment is fine, put a screw, let's say there, because this will not allow it to move up or down. Maximum 15 kilograms. Put these plastics. This should be on the top. We have to make a hole in the wall and put screws and so we can consider it ready. These are working. We have handles. Door is opening and it's closing. The hinges were updated. Now we have soft close and we have shelves also. Here at step 30. You have these adjustments so if you want to move the door up or down vertical movement then you have to remove those two screws you have to loosen them and then you can move this vertical element you can move it up or down with the doors themselves and then tighten the upper and lower screws to move the door to the outside or more inside you have to loosen that screw which is on the right side inside or outside okay and then tighten the screw on the right side to move the door to the right or to the left in this direction also loosen the screw on the right side now use the left screw rotate it to the left or right that will move the door this way to the left or to the right okay and then tighten the screw on the right side this movement will be visible after the door is closed because when it's opened it's not visible to adjust the drawers up or down in the vertical position pull out the drawer loosen the first screw adjust it up or down a little bit and then tighten that screw and at the end when it's perfect put a screw there in the middle also 